guys, I uh, want to do another video on a uh, property in the Chicago area. Looks like um, this one's actually a new construction. Four bed, four bath, 2850 square feet at $637,500. And this one's actually been on the market for 95 days. So um, it's been a while, but... I was previewing these pictures before I started this video and I really like how this layout is. And another really good thing about new construction is you don't have to worry about bad plumbing lines or, you know, electrical behind the walls going bad. Um, now, anytime you buy a house, that's remodeled and put back on the market, all that stuff is supposed to have been redone. But again, you don't really know what's behind the walls and how well the reconstruction was done. This house is entirely new. So you know that from the foundation to the roof, everything should be good, you know? Now, it's not a track home, and the benefits to a track home is when they mass produce the homes, they can maintain a quality control. So if there are problems with the building, they can have systematic problems, but then the builders don't want that because they typically guarantee what they're selling. So you don't have that here, but, um, you know, if this builder has built a name for themselves, they do want to sell quality product because this is not the only construction project they'll be planning to do. So um, anyway, here we're seeing that they say, welcome to the homes on Lovejoy. 50% have been sold. Two beautiful and contemporary new construction single family homes by MK Construction. Exceptional and experienced local developer. And then it goes on. Again, a 2020 build, so brand new. And it's got a garage. Let's see if there's anything else. Detached garage, I see. Um, okay, so Z estimate puts it at 638.435. And I think they had this listed for. 637500 I mean, it's been on the market for 90 days, which is a little bit of a while. And price is always negotiable. So now it's a matter of really, if you like this property, you like the location and what it has to offer. Looking at this monthly cost of thirty four twenty two per month, let's just suppose that you were to be able to do a you know, a 5% down on this loan. Okay. And, wow, I mean, I think it would significantly increase your costs. forty one ninety two per month. Whereas if it was at 20%, which was what it was at before, you're at thirty four twenty two. So keep that in mind in terms of because this down payment at 127,500, 20% down, that's pretty significant, you know. Um, and then, you know, can you really get this 2.675% interest rate? That might be pretty ideal, but let's just say it's at 3%, you know. So you're looking more like $4,300 a month. Um Mortgage insurance, property tax, homeowner's insurance, HOA fees, none, which is good. Okay, uh, what about the schools? Bobian Elementary, Taft High School. Uh, leaves a little bit to be desired. And the neighborhood we have here is Jefferson Park. Okay. I think that might be kind of like the, you know, it's not Lincoln Park or any of those more hot, hotter hot spots. 
but it's still got 73 on the walk score. And let's kind of look and just kind of do a street view. Oh no, that's, that's not a good street view. Well, if that's not going to work, we could just try Google Maps. Okay, so that's the house on the outside. Hmm. Looks like a pretty busy street here. And you're on a turn. Okay. But see, I wouldn't be concerned about the traffic, like any car, you know, let's say a drunk driver was going down this road, they could possibly hit this house. I think, I think you're okay, but you are on kind of a busy street here. So that's, and it's kind of a weird, a weird street to be on. I would imagine the detached garage is also in the rear. And then look at the front. Well, I guess you could park in these little parking spaces. You don't have like a parking space immediately in the front of the house, but it looks like you could park a little bit to the left of the house up ahead here. Anyway, I mean, look at this is really amazing how much information you can get just looking online. But, um, you know, the last thing I would do, well, I did download Spot Crime, so we could do that and just kind of see what we got here. Okay. Select all, copy this, and we'll pull up Spot Crime. Here it is. Okay, zoom in. And it's actually not too bad. You've got an image here of vandalism. Okay, location description to church. But there's no gun shootings, burglaries, car thefts. You know, those are the big ones. Arson. If we go down a couple blocks down the street, we can see this is a motor vehicle theft about two, three blocks away. Um, the Chicago Police Department looks like it's right here. Telephone threat. Okay. And then let's look over here. Assault. But that, you know, that's two blocks away. Once you're about two blocks or more away, I, I wouldn't really say... That's neighborhood crime because Chicago is just so block to block. So I would say generally speaking, generally speaking, a church is like a positive thing. The church itself has been vandalized, unfortunately. But overall, you're in a pretty good spot here. I, I would just be concerned about whether you are a deep sleeper. And if if you're in front of this major road, um, you know, people in Chicago... They live a couple blocks from trains, and they get used to train noise. So I, I would say this is not a major road per se, like a highway, because there's a stop sign here. I, I just feel like the noise levels from this, from this kind of traffic, passerby traffic, is not going to be a major noise impact factor on this house. So anyway, um, I hope that helps. And... You guys make your own decision ultimately on what you want, what you like, or what you don't like. But I've kind of just gone through this to give you an idea of what sticks out in my mind as I uh, peruse properties. And uh, one more thing I do like to look at is the property taxes. Although, because this is such a nice new home, I'm not sure... I'm not sure if they're giving me that here. See, look, public tax history, tax history is unavailable, unfortunately. There is a tax base rate in a way to calculate this. I think the best thing to do is to look at comparable properties around the same price. And if you've seen any of my other videos, I was showing a property at like around $500,000 with a property tax around 10,000. I would guess just to be a ballpark figure on this one here, you'll be paying about $13,000 in property tax for this particular property. 
And again, there's no guarantee because things change from uh, neighborhood to neighborhood, even so. But um, I think it kind of gives you an idea. And you can go to cookcountypropertyinfo.com to, uh, to see what the assessment is on this particular property. Now, they may not have the last year's property tax accurately to give you a real reflection because um, – when construction, when they do new construction, they're taxed on land, and typically the the what do you call it? Like the builders, the people who own this, and who the, the investors that are investing in building the the structure, they're paying taxes on just the land, and their goal is to sell it before they get hit with any major property taxes. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, but you should be able to find the neighborhood, you know, this being Jefferson Park, and find the uh, tax base rate in the way they can calculate this. If at the end you still really want to know the property tax on this and you don't and you can't calculate it yourself, consider calling the Treasury office with the uh, department of, with the city of Chicago and see if they'll be able to point you in the right direction. All right, well, you guys have a great day, and until the next video, I'll see you later.